So, hello guys, uh, we are back for another live here, but before we go to our uh, uh, podcast, now that the latest update for coronavirus is up on our social media, especially Hamad Medical Corporation, PHCC, and Ministry of Public Health. So this is the latest update of the coronavirus here in Doha. So far, we have a number of recovery 1,506 that is today. Well, good morning to our, or good afternoon to our follower. First commenter for today, that fan is Wilma. Hi and good afternoon. How are you? Thank you for tuning in to our podcast this afternoon and bringing you the latest update of coronavirus happening in Qatar. So we have we are opening our discussion. We're opening our discussion right now and to uh, explain what is uh, this data that's splashing on your screen right now. Hello to Irma. Hot afternoon. Yeah, it's very hot today around like 40 plus degrees Celsius in Qatar. And hello to uh, Grizel and to Shane Vargas who's watching and to Zam. Good afternoon, Zam. Good PM to all of you and hope you can share this video and to to reach more of uh, our followers of Qatar social media. Stay tuned. So yeah, b- before we go to our podcast and about the new and the current updates from Hamad Medical Corporation. So the news is up. We are now in total of 37,542. That is the total number of recovered cases up to date. That's a good one. Hello to Abel who's watching. To Ahmed Tashki. Thank you for your comment. How to open the airport or how to open the airport? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe it, th- he is asking about if the airport is is now operational. Right? So, yeah, the the news is up on, on their social media when it comes to the coronavirus. I'm just checking uh, our news feed right now. We have uh, 75 viewers hello and good afternoon to all of you guys hope you can share this video this is the latest and the current updates from the minister of public health and the uh, medical corporation hamad medical corporation so why is too much dead people in covid so now the increase of numbers when it comes to the covid patient is roughly around like two or three that's the maximum uh well compared to other countries that is also less very less. Uh, some say it's 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 uh, it's uh, ranging around like a thousand in other countries per day. That's, we are talking about deaths right there. But anyway, the good news in in Qatar, we only have like two deaths in total today, and that's uh, that's also good com- comparison to the numbers of positive case today. Positive case today is 1,901. So by the way, are you hearing me right now? It's my voice is clear. Let me know on your comment. Just say yes if you're uh, hearing all of those. Because I don't want to... 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 Uh, to have the technical difficulty last time that we had a blog and I don't have an audio. So please let me know if you can hear me right now. Just say yes for all of the listener and followers of Qatar Social. We have like 80 plus followers. Okay, the audio is nice. Okay, the audio is good. Yes. Just comment yes if you are hearing the audio. So I will not uh, do anything with the uh, with my technical uh, 
equipment right here. So let me move on. Okay, so uh, in total we have 45 deaths uh, as of the uh, of this to date. Okay, and also we have we have in total of 24,573. That is the total number of currently active cases in Qatar. So it's a bit less right now. And uh, we have in total of number of people currently in ICU, which is 237. And uh, today it's only 15 who are admitted in or admission in the last 24 hours in the intensive care unit. Uh, in other uh, facility of Hamad Medical Corporation. So, uh, uh, louder, li louder your voice, please. Okay, I'm gonna put my mouth near the mic. So, hello, guys. Are you hearing me clearly right now? Let me know on your comments. Hello to Charles. Hello to Ging. And hello to Yandel, who's watching. Hello. I Yes, I hear the audio. Hello to Joe who's watching. Hi, hello Joe. And yes, uh, great move from uh, Hankat King. Okay, hello to Freline Abonko who's watching and to Lizelle Bayot and Abel Kipto. Loud and clear and yes. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, moving forward. So we have... 1,556, that is the total number people currently under active or acute hospital care. Wow, we have, we have this, this figure right here, which is 1,556. And um, a number of acute hospital admission in the last 24 hours. That is 245. That is actually here on your screen. In the lower left corner of your screen is this 245. So uh, again, we already reached around 236,437. That is the total number of people tested up to date. So that's a lot of people who have been, who has been tested in covid here in Qatar, it's 200,000 plus. And also, uh, the number of people tested in the last 24 hours is 5,000. It's it's roughly like this, like 4,000 uh, or 4,000, 5,000, 3,000. That is the, the actual average of uh, testing or tested by COVID in this uh, or in 24 hours time so they've been they've been doing a lot they've been doing a lot of tests uh in in, in everyday basis so uh hello to yato and to Vinu who's watching thank you for tuning in and join the discussion so what is your comments about this numbers is it good is it uh, i think uh, i can say it's still good because the total number of recovered patient it's now on a four figure for the past one week i think so it's uh, almost one week we have been receiving a lot of recovered patients and out from the quarantine area or they have been resting or uh, uh, doing their medication inside their uh, home so that is also good uh, and we, we also have a good number when it comes to to uh, the total test number conducted every day, so that is five thousand. So meaning, they are pushing the tests uh, on on people, on suspected people. In uh, I think this is included the the rapid uh, uh, tests. Hello to Jawar Salmo. Hi sir. The number of deaths is in indicated. How great your medical system is. Yes. Well, let me com compare it to other uh, countries where, where we can open up uh, the World Health Organization. Okay. 
We'll go to the World Health Organization right now. And uh, we're gonna try to get all of the information that we can. And uh, getting all of the data for coronavirus outbreak in in any countries. So we go to this uh, uh, public advice. And we have this total number. Okay, we are about to discuss or uh, about to... Uh, to publish this coronavirus disease COVID-19 outbreak situation. This is from the World Health Organization, guys. So I'm gonna bring up the screen so you can you can actually know what what uh what we're what been uh, talking about. So uh, here you go. So here are the total number of confirmed cases. I, around the world, which is total of six million uh, two hundred seventy-two, right here, uh, thousand and uh, ninety-eight million. So that is by far uh, the highest number of cases, of confirmed cases. The total number of deaths from the numbers figure from the confirmed cases is three hundred thousand. Okay, seven hundred nine. Uh, uh, okay, three hundred seventy-nine thousand forty-four deaths. That is around the globe. We are talking about here, and the affected countries, areas, and territories is two hundred sixteen. So let me go more about this, so we can have a full updates. So this is live on on the uh, the the World Health Organization COVID report. So all you need to do is uh, um, go to this area. Okay, I think I need to go to. Uh, here are many many of information right here. Uh, travel advice, situation report, resources report, research and development, strategy and planning, operations, uh, you know, those those things. Okay, so we're going to go to see the dashboard so we can know which which country to, and what and how, how many uh, are, are affected. So, okay, here we go. So, uh, as you can see on your screen right now, we have uh, 6 million right here, plus, and the total deaths. Okay, cases by comparison, uh, World Health Organization readings. So we have the Americas, which is the highest, uh, which is 2,949,458. Uh, that is from the Americans. Uh, from Europe, we have 2,175,941. And we have from the Eastern Mediterranean, which is 552,497. We have in Southeast Asia, which we have 296,622. Western Pacific, which we have 185,000. 358 and from Africa we have 111,486 so that that's the the graph right here so this is by day and this by day per deaths and by day uh, daily uh, we have also um, we are actually growing growing up <laughs> yeah anyway so uh, we are going to some countries Okay, uh, on your screen right now, we have situation by countries, territories, or area. In the United States, we have 1,798,330 uh, cases, followed by uh, Brazil. Okay, Brazil has 526,447 200, cases. And Russian, uh, we have uh, 
423,741. In the UK, we have 276,306. From Spain, we have 240,010. We are talking about the confirmed cases here. Uh, Italy now has 233,197. India, we have 200,000 or 207,615. The Germany, we have 182,028. So, uh, these are the top uh, probably 3, 6, 9, 12. These are the top 12 number of cases by situation countries and territories or area again germany has 182,028 the peru which has 170,039 turkey we have 164,769 iran 157,000 uh, or 157,562 and we have from France last one which is 148,775 so that is the, the top 12 by uh, by country, territory or area uh, record from or data from national or World Health Organization coronavirus disease dashboard so this is uh, uh, the graph that you can uh, you can see Brazil uh, will which has like this graph having a a, a confirmed cases Wow we have like 26,000 in a day you know meaning they also have a number of tests conducted in this area which is a lot Hmm. Nice to know all of the, this information from uh, WHO. So, uh, just bringing you the latest update here. Here are from the Eastern Mediterranean, the Southeast Asia, the Europe and the Americas, and the Western Pacific and Africa. So, good thing that we, we have this data. So we can know which, which country to avoid to travel. And also what are the current updates in your uh, country of origin. So bringing you the latest update from the WHO website. So again, here are, here are the cases and that's in bubbles. Map bubbles. Okay, so here are the map bubbles right here. The concentration is right over here. So yeah. So you can actually get the updates from from this one, from uh, ww or covid nineteen dot who dot int. Again, that is covid c o v i d nineteen dot who dot int. So you can go and uh, visit the link and you can actually uh, know what's what's been happening with the with all of those uh, uh, numbers and cases. So going back to Qatar uh, data, so we have we have again uh, at least we have a lot of recoveries which is 1506 that is also a good number and uh, the total number of that it's only 45 so compared to to other countries that has a lot of deaths you know we have like uh, uh like really a lot of deaths right there so I've been talking about the the confirmed cases on other countries and uh, areas. So hope uh, it helped in, uh, for for your information for for those reference. I get it from the WHO.
website. So you can actually access it uh, uh, on their website right now. That's a real time. It's global uh, globally as of 10.30 a.m. CST, uh, 3rd of June, 2020. So that is the recent update. So going back to our live right now. So yeah, uh, well, what is our our uh, comments here on our Facebook page? So let me scroll down. When will Qatar allow arrivals? So that's a good question from Salia or Saliha Rahim. From Nikai and from uh, Ula. From Winnie. Uh, still not open. The Filipinos, uh, Filipino, Filipino souk. Uh, when Qatar is going to inbound flight expected time period. So that's also a lot of questions right there. Uh, hello from San Diego, California, from Lorena or Lorena, Lorena, Jobar. I mean, the number of recovered is great. It's just great, right? Right. So, do you have any idea when is the salon open, sir? That is from Abanca. Well, probably soon. To Jobar, the number of deaths indicated how great your medical system is. Yeah, I can, I can uh, agree on that. We have a good facility. Uh, we we are talking about healthcare facility, uh, both uh, Hamad Medical Corporation and the PHCC, the primary healthcare. So, uh, comment for all of those person who are watching. Uh, put in your comments right now while uh, we are on live. Uh, Qatar social me media is bringing you the latest update of the coronavirus here and around the globe. It's uh okay. Let let me go to some comments right now. Scroll down. For those who are uh, watching, here is the latest update, and you can share it, and you can tag your your friends and loved ones. And for those who want to shout out their friends, uh, it's open for comments right now. So please ping your your. Uh, shout out to the inbox. So comment section below. Hello to Maria Janet Navarra. Hello, sir. Is there flight from Manila via Qatar Airways? Uh, yes, I believe there is uh, some some flights uh, going going back here, but it was it was stopped. I think that that is the the last time that I checked. Uh, there were a lot of uh, people commented on on Facebook last time that they they had a chance to onboard Qatar Airways going back to Philippines or or yeah. So please answer also from uh, Sa Sami Ula. So what is your question, Sami Ula? Please question answer question also so what is your question when is the Qatar open for inbound flights expected time period where are you coming from so that's where are you coming from it depends of which country or origin you're coming from and Qatar Airways have have scheduled uh, 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 a a country that they are applying with so uh, it depends of which which country or origin uh, are you talking about so Please ping up your comments uh, so we will have an answer for you if I can. For those who inbound flights from Pakistan, yeah, uh, I heard they are actually uh, outbound. I My friend uh, uh, who traveled last week, so he's now in Pakistan right now, but for uh, the inbound flights, so... We'll, we'll check about that. So far as I know, uh, Pakistan uh, going to U.S. Uh, connecting flights to Qatar. Uh, I'm going to check with that. We'll double check with, with the Qatar Airways. And to make sure that uh, you have the inbound flights, you can visit the www.qatarairways.com or .qa. I think that's the QA. Or visit their social media. They are really active on social media. So let me go to the Qatar Airways. 
to Qatar Airways. So we go to Qatar Airways. So So we might we might find some some uh, some answer with your questions. Okay, right here. So the from Qatar Airways. Uh, last time that I checked, it was a uh, different country. I'm checking it right now. Okay, the Italy. Okay, I'm just uh, checking which country still. Uh, okay, well, bringing you the latest update from the Qatar Airways uh, social media. So far, it's Italy is good. I uh, need to double check with the uh, with Qatar Airways website. Okay, we we go to the Qatar Airways press releases. So Qatar Airways to resume services to Venice and expand flights to Dublin, Milan and Rome. So that's the latest news from Qatar social me media uh, by uh, Qatar Airways website press releases. So as of June 3rd, 2020, so uh, Qatar Airways is pleased to announce the airlines will be resuming services to Venice, Italy starting July of 15, 2020, uh, the, the popular tourist uh, destination and major uh, arts and culture center will, will become the airline's third destination in Italy to resume flights, marking a significant step in resumption of global leisure travel. So yeah, that is uh, from the Qatar Airways. Uh, press release just now so uh, okay uh, what else so again if you are want to travel to Italy guys uh, start booking your your destination stop that will be on uh, July 15th 2020 Italy starting from uh, 15th of July 2020 that is a uh, reference from the press release from Qatar Airways that's the latest updates well Italy is good when it comes to to go uh, and visit tourist spots well, uh, that is a Europe country so okay going back to our comment section let me know if uh, there are some comments from Sri Lanka. When Qatar Airways will start full operation? So, from Pakistan, not yet. Qatar Airways will start operation. So, uh, I think soon. Now that they are starting opening to the global, uh, global uh, travel, so we'll start to to see more of countries will uh, or or flights will opening uh, into Qatar Airways. Uh, um, airways uh, lights Sri Lanka will see from Mohammed Azmi I hope I can I, uh, I, I did answer your question to Ula so again uh, that's that's the update from your Qatar social media guy here in Doha and uh, thank you for tuning in he, uh, here in uh, this afternoon podcast and before we end up this uh, blog time check it's 4 10 p.m doha time temperature is around like 30 plus degrees celsius still still hot so drink a lot of water guys 
and uh, make sure that you are always hydrate and uh, keep keep uh, keep always at home you know it's good to have a comfort home now that i'm blogging inside my house or inside my room it's good to have uh, that all of my things all of my my uh, my everyday tasks will be here in my comfort zone so again this is the information from the the Hamad Medical Corporation the PHCC and the Ministry of Public Health this has been posted on their social media and today we have 1901 confirmed cases and the total number of recovered patients from the coronavirus congratulations that is 1506 uh, unfortunately we have like two deaths uh, today and we have confirmed 15 uh, went to an uh, uh, admission in uh, uh, ICU so uh, well uh, again tomorrow we'll, we'll bring you the latest update of Qatar uh, coronavirus cases so till then it's me your Qatar social media guy here in Doha signing up for now for more information about uh, latest update on coronavirus in the world uh, of global data or dashboard, you can visit uh, WHO or World Health Organization website. So again, thank you guys for watching. It's me again, your Qatar social media guy here in Doha, signing up for now. See you on my next one. And peace.